Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm the Witchy Sister and today I got an unboxing for you. This is the Soul Spell Society box and I'm really sad because this is her last box. She is not doing the subscription boxes anymore, at least for a while. Um, she said due to um, having a hard time with uh, getting items shipped and all that kind of jazz. I'm really sad. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what she came up with for her last box. Um, so let's dive in. Ooh, it looks pretty jam-packed. This box is Moon Power. I don't wanna know, I'm not gonna flip this over because I think this is the spoilers card. And here is our calendar for the month. I always enjoyed her artwork each month, um, all the cool different moon phases for the month, and where you can, on the back where you can write little notes and stuff, um, plan out your lunar calendar for the month, maybe some spells or things that you wanna get accomplished. Very cool. All right, so first I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this. This is a Manifest with the Moon Spell Kit, and it is in this really cute silver bag. Um, ready, set, Manifest. If you wanna read that, you can pause it. And that is the back. Oh, all right, let's see what's in here. Inside this spell kit, we have one white chime candle, um, Palo Santo, and it looks like some, um, maybe lemongrass. I'm not exactly sure what kind of herb that is. And bay leaves. Um, I'll read the little, um, information sheet that she has on here to see what this herb is. My guess is it is lemongrass from the looks of it, but I could be wrong. So let's see. Um, white chime candle. Oh, it's alfalfa. Okay. Alfalfa, bay leaf, and ethnic, ethnically sourced Palo Santo. Needed is paper and a heat safe container. Okay. That is cool. Um, next we have this cute little mojo spell bag it is like a it feels like leather but it, it could be like that vegan leather but it's real soft like leather is and inside we have oh my gosh this cute little moon ring let's see and it it's adjustable but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my pinky very cute it's kind of like um it has a shimmer to it, but it's like hammered metal. Very cute. I like this bag. I definitely like saving bags like this for other spell work. This is Moon Crystals, so Rainbow Moonstone, Clear Quartz, and Opalite. Uh, moonstone, Rainbow Moonstone for Intuition and Divination, Clear Quartz, Amplifier, and Restoration. Uh, opalite for Power and Communication. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so cute. This is um, the opalite, and it is in the shape of a moon, and it's chiseled. So cute. Oh my gosh, okay. And then this is the clear quartz crystal. Also very pretty. And our moonstone. Very pretty. All right, put those back in there. Set that to the side. I really did, wasn't safe with this, was I? 
Then we have Moon Spice. Citrus plus bent all natural vegan bath salt. Ooh, so this is a really pretty, you can see it has an orange slice in there. Um, moon ritual bath salt. Let's see what it smells like. Does it smell spicy? And if you hear that, like water and stuff in the background, it's my washer. Sorry. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like, um, I definitely can smell the citrus with a hint of mint. This smells really good. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait to take a moon bath with that. And then we have a uh, new moon journal prompts, soul spell society. It's got a cute little silver ribbon on it and the box is black with a holographic sticker. I do enjoy her presentation on her boxes. Like, again, I'm really sad to see her go. Oh, look, and these were specially, look, it's got her logo. Ooh, I like the way these feel. They have that, like, grip feeling to them. Last month, this brought me joy slash peace. So this is what the back of the card looks like. It's holographic, shiny. Very pretty. I love the design on this, and that's what the other side looks like. If you want to see what all the cards say, stay tuned till the end, and I'll do a little flip through. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's some big items in here. Oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's a moon water bottle. I I mean, I have bottles that I use for moon water, but none that like are this gorgeous. And it's got the cork. Oh my gosh, I definitely like this um, moon shape. I'm gonna call it a moon shape because it's a moon water bottle. I definitely like this. This is beautiful. Moon water, magic exists when the healing water meets the mystical moon. Fill the bottle, bottle, fill the bottle with water. Setting your intention, you may add water-safe crystals or essential oils to add benefits. Set the bottle out overnight during the chosen moon phase. Seal the bottle and sip. Seal the bottle and sip. Court. Oh my gosh. Sip. Cook. Create tonics with oils water plants, or use in other rituals. New moon, beginnings and cleansing, waxing moon, growth, planning, action, full moon, power, success, and goals, letting go for the, and vanishing for the waning moon. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And look, she even put her little logo on the back of it. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful bottle. Okay. And then there, it looks like there's one more item in here. A guide to moon magic. Harness the power of lunar cycles with guided rituals, spells, and meditation. Include 64 magical guide book, 32 page guide journal, 25 mystical spell cards, and moonstone. And this is what the back of it looks like. This is pretty. This is interesting. Okay, let's open it. Where's my knife? This just came today and I was so excited. I've been waiting to see what she was gonna come up with for her last box. Again, I am sad to see her go. Her boxes are always jam-packed. Here comes the witch cat. I don't know if she'll come in the frame today, but this is so cool. Okay. So here is the moonstone that it comes with. The, oh, the cards. And it's got this really pretty um, jacket on it. I can get it off. I don't want to necessarily 
I might have to tear it. I didn't want to. I'll have to make a special little bag for this. Um, I make, when I get cards like this that don't have a bag or a box to keep them in. Now, granted, this does have a box, but um, I will make tarot bags for them. Or card bags. Or card tarot cards. So, these. This is the front, maybe? And then this is the back. Hi, kitty. There's Mia, guys. Always in my business. I was sick over the weekend and she did not leave my side. Alright, so here is the Guide to Moon Magic. I'm just going to kind of open it up a little bit. It tells you how to use this kit, the powerful magic of the moon, the force of the moon phases, intention settings, positive moon affirmations, the full moon, and other magical moon phases, birth stones, energies, and moon magic, astrology, and the moon, moon rituals, and those are all the chapters, how to use this kit. Oh, this is going to be fun. And then this is your moon magic journal. Oh, this box was beautiful. And for you to do your little journaling in. How cool is that? Okay, so um, for the recap, real quick, for those of you that don't want to watch the flip through, I will also do a little flip through of these cards. Um, kind of ASMR. Um, but so we have the Guide to Moon Magic kit there. Oh, with the moonstone. The beautiful moon. I'm putting it out of frame, aren't I? Moon water bottle. The moon spiced citrus and mint bath salts. The beautiful um, moon crystals here and the soul spell society little bag with the moon ring that I would decide I was going to put on and your moon manifest manifest with the moon spell kit the um, moon calendar the information sheet and our soul spell let me see. Soul Spell Society um, cards there. So, moon water bottle, spice moon bath salts. Um, this is a point two or point nine <laughs> two five sterling silver moon ring. Manifest with the moon spell kit. New moon journal prompt deck, which is this one and moon crystal set and a guide to moon magic so that is everything in this kit i'm gonna go ahead and put this ring back on because i don't want to lose it and because it's cute and i'm gonna set all this stuff up here and give me just one second i'll drop you guys down lower so you can see this I'm gonna go ahead and do a flip through of the deck that Soul Spell Society put together. Again, I love the way this feels. They kind of stick together because of the grip.
No, don't do that. Me yet. <laughs> Watch out. All right, that is everything inside of that little oracle. Not oracle, I'm sorry, this is a journal prompt kit. That is really, really beautiful. I like that a lot. I thought that was pretty creative. And then um, this one will be a little harder because it has two different things on the back. So, um, I say two different things. It has one thing on the front and one thing on the back. New moon, spell, fresh start, the new beginning, cleansing. And it kind of gives you, I'm so sorry, my washer, you guys. <laughs> the, uh, waxing crescent moon spell setting intentions oh so these are kind of like um envisioning the journey so they're like little that's really cute so i'm just going to do a few of these because i feel like my um washer is very distracting even for me so um there you go and the last one is first quarter moon spell focus action All right, there you go. Well, what did you guys think of her last box? I thought it was really good. I'm, I thought it was really well put together. My favorite item is definitely going to have to be this moon water bottle. Um, moon bottle for water. And then my second, oh. I don't know. Personally, I'm excited about this bath. I've been needing to take a... Uh, bathing ritual so maybe this will kind of light a fire under me and get me motivated all right until next time um i hope you guys are all doing well and thank you for tuning into my channel if you're new here thank you for watching like subscribe all the cool things even giving me a thumbs up helps my channel um, and if you're a continued subscriber, thank you so much. As always, I greatly appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, blessed be.